Let's do a two PC setup for OBS. Really the only difference between setting it up on your gaming PC or sending the broadcast stream mix to your streaming PC is one cable that sends an analog version rather than the USB version to the input on your streaming PC. So on the back of GoXLR, there's a green line out jack. You're going to take a stereo 3.5 millimeter cable from the line out on GoXLR and you're going to connect it to the line in on your streaming computer. Now I have this fancy dancy computer here, but it does give us the jack panel at the back. Now typically the line in on one of these computers is going to be either the blue or the black. I'm gonna guess it's the blue on this one, but definitely refer to your documentation for your own computer to find out where that is. Once you've got that plugged in and GoXLR is connected to your streaming computer, the only difference between selecting it in a gaming PC or on your streaming PC is to just choose the line in. So in this case, it actually says microphone, but that's just because this laptop doubles a microphone and a line in is the same type of jack. But on yours, you're going to actually see line in and likely it will be real tech high definition. It's one of the most common chipsets for audio. Once you've picked the line in, that's the only thing you need to do. You don't need any other devices. This is going to collect everything that you mix and everything that you hear from GoXLR in your headphones and send it right to your streaming PC. Then what you'll want to do, if you want to hear stream alerts come back, you'll need a second one of these cables and it's going to go from the line out, which is the green one, on the motherboard of your streaming PC to the black line in over on GoXLR. And now what that will allow you to do is mix in your stream alerts. And you can choose whether or not you hear them in your headphones only, or if you send them back to the stream, all of that stuff is configurable within GoXLR on the gaming PC. But that's it, you got one cable going one way, one cable going the other way. One little caveat is that sometimes you can get some buzz and it's like ground noise. Essentially, it's just the grounding of the two different devices being plugged into different outlets and that kind of stuff. For about 10 bucks on Amazon, you can grab yourself a 3.5 millimeter ground isolator. If you look that up, grab two of them if you're running the cables in both directions and put one on each cable. It's like a little dongle thing. You plug in the 3.5 millimeter cable and you plug the other end of it into the jacks you were already plugged into. And that should totally get rid of the problem for you.